just saved hundreds of lives. It's what I get paid to do. I can't believe your modesty. I was hardwired for modesty. Should I thank you now? Or later? How about now? said you wanted the free recall trip. That was supposed to be my fantasy, not yours. Oh, Paula, come on. Hey, don't tell me you didn't like it, huh? I didn't say I didn't like it. What do you want? This isn't part of the recall trip, is it? Dispatch rerouting you to recall headquarters. Recall headquarters. That's what they said. Got a big mistake. Some kids hacked into their security system, set off all the bells and whistles. The bell and the whistle would be a nice change of pace. I swear, this rotation put a somniac to sleep. I think this is where they test the new machines. You ever taken a recall vacation? Never had the money. Then how come you know so much about the place? It's in their brochure. What brochure? The living I've been thinking about buying one of those sublimators. <laughs> so that you can do that virtual love stuff? Look, I don't know what we'll be using it for. It's mostly her idea. If I had a wife that looked like yours, I'd want to do things the old-fashioned way. Yeah, yeah, just swipe your card. Proceed with caution. There are three Beta-class androids still inside the complex. What the hell? Service androids shouldn't even be in that sector. You tell them. Meanwhile, get your stun off standby. androids couldn't have done this. The program to protect human life. It's part of their bioethic. Let's argue the final points later and call some backup. Done. I was hoping we could wait outside until they... Help me, Nikki!
Nikki. Nikki! Don't you die on me! Don't you die on me, Nikki! Don't you die on me! Don't you die, Nikki! It's not the way it works. It's the way it works tonight. The service android was terminated with an out-of-policy 12 millimeter. That kind of weapon hasn't been used in over 20 years. Do you know what happened to the 12 millimeter? What we should be asking is, what were those androids doing at recall? And how did they gain access to a programming office? Now, it appears the young programmer that was killed had access to recall equipment using it to seduce his girlfriend. She ended up at the wrong place at the wrong time. Is that a joke? We get, what, two homicides a year in this city? I spend half my time answering calls from people that think their computers are spying on them. Detective Hume, this is Richard Collector. He's head of Recall's internal security. I'm very, very sorry about what happened to your partner. We at Recall will do everything we can to help CPB's investigation on this matter. Give my word on it. And now, gentlemen, if you will permit me to take Dr. Gish home, this has been a very, very long night for all concerned. Yeah. The androids were after him. Why do you say that? Why do I say that? They were leading him out of the building at gunpoint. I assure you that Dr. Gish will get the very best security. Good evening, gentlemen. You just make sure he's available for further questioning. Of course. Follow me. We're talking about the 12 millimeter that's missing from the scene. My partner was killed with a laser weapon. You want to talk? Let's talk about that. Forensics hasn't verified it was a laser. I verified it with my eyes. I saw it burn a hole the size of a baseball through Blanchard's chest. You want to know what that's like, Kelly? You know what the smell of burnt flesh is like? Why don't you lean a little closer? It's still on me. You! You're upset by what's happened to your partner. I understand that. We'll continue this in the morning. Fine. Before you go, the 12 millimeter that killed the android? The out of policy 12 millimeter? You have no knowledge of what happened to it. I have no knowledge. We can stop him before he leaves the building if you want. Let him hang on to the gun for the moment. I'm almost more interested in what he plans on doing with it than where it came from. Is it true? Is it true about Nikki? 
Nikki's dead. Oh, God, no. Olin said something about rogue androids? I don't know what they were. This whole thing. How could that happen? I mean, the, the androids are not programmed for violence. This is not supposed to happen. This isn't a department weapon, is it, David? No. Where did you get it? I got it from the crime scene today. One of the androids had it. David. Look, I don't even know why I have it. I'm gonna check it into evidence tomorrow, okay? Tell me what you're doing sitting in that chair. You must be David Hume. Ian Favre. Doesn't answer my question. Why are you at this desk? We can talk about this here, or we can talk about this What's in my office. What's there to talk about? Favre's your new partner. Temporarily. I've heard good things about you. That's supposed to explain what he's doing in Blanchard's desk less than 24 hours after Blanchard's been killed? Let's go into my office. Uh, no, this is my fault. I, I had no idea this was your partner's chair. What I did was thoughtless and uh, totally inappropriate. I apologize. You're right, that was totally inappropriate too. Until further notice, you're working together. This guy's qualified to go after rogue androids? You're not going after androids. The assessor's office is handling that. And until Callie finishes his investigation, you're on front desk duty. So you got us doing walk-ins? You want me to run interference with the assessor's office? You'll damn well do what you're told to do. You'll find yourself at home warming your couch. Well, with all due respect, no sir. No one is better prepared to deal with Collector and all his internal security bullshit than Callie. You're gonna have to trust him on this one. Yes, I can type 180 words a minute. Good, you're, you're doing the paperwork. Excellent. Yes, sir, I can tell that you're upset, but if you'll just calm down and tell me the story, I'm sure we can get to the bottom of it. What happened after that? I tried the lob setting next. What you can see right here in the manual is a number four setting. And what does this 
supposedly risk-free, top-of-the-line holographic tennis instructor do next? I have no idea, sir. He fires an overhead slam right into my left eye. A ripped cornea? Do you have any idea how painful a ripped cornea is? I take it you've received proper medical attention? The next thing I'm trying to shut this supposedly top-of-the-line tennis pro off. Do you know what he does next? He scissor kicks me five times in the groin. I'm not sure I understand exactly how you wish us to act in this matter. I want him arrested. Machines can't be arrested, sir. You'll have to file suit with the manufacturer. And I must warn you that your own mental health history will be examined. When was the last time you had a brain scan? A brain scan? Am I to take it that the Citizens Protection Bureau is refusing to act in this matter? It's a question of jurisdiction, sir. We'll just see about this. Have a nice day now, sir. This way. What are you doing to the bar? Don't, 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 don't touch her like that. Civil disturbance. Citizens check confirms no priors. Evacuees from one of the contaminated Eastern European sectors. Been off the transport less than two weeks. This is his charge with attempted kidnapping. Tried to grab a kid in a mall. Kid's been returned to his parents unharmed, but everybody's pretty upset. He's the husband. Complaint was keyed and filed en route? Yeah, should be in there. Thank you, officer. Excuse me, would you mind removing the handcuffs? Thank you. Welcome to the Citizens Protection Bureau, Mrs. Souter. This is all mistake. This is a terrible, terrible mistake. Mr. and Mrs. Souter, you live at Scanlon Street, level 4, number 318, apartment 226. I know this must be very confusing. Things are very different than where you came from. Can you tell me what happened? She's, she's a good woman. She's never hurt nobody. She's back home, she was a school teacher. A school teacher. Did you know the boy at the mall? Where were you going to take him? She was not kidnapping boy. She, 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 this has never happened before. It's just, you're right. It's confusion. It's, it's new city. Everything is different. Do you have any children of your own? No. Yes, of course. It says that right here. Mr. Suter. Is your wife taking any kind of medication? No, she, she's in perfect health. She's a very happy person. But since we come back, she, she started to be sad. Back from where? We went on holiday to Galapagos, sea turtles there. After holiday, Maria started to be sad. She's problems in the house. Everything is different. You took a holiday to the Galapagos Islands? see the giant sea turtles? Yes. When did you go? I, I, don't, I don't remember. Just, sometimes I get confused with myself. I... Did you take a recall vacation, Mr. Suter? Recall? No. I, I, I don't remember how we got there. Recall, customer service. Welcome to Recall, where your dreams do come true. How can I help you? Um, CPB, Officer David Hume. Confirming, Officer Hume. How can I be of service to the Citizens Protection Bureau? Souter, S-O-O-D-O-R. I need a log of their vacation history. Checking. I'm sorry, there is no log. There are no records of usage for Sudor. S double O D O R. Thank you, end call. How did you get there, Mr. Suter? The transports. We. We flew on the transports. Would you remember the docking station if we took you there? It's possible. Yes. Hmm. Their file's accurate. There's no way they had time to go to the Galapagos Islands in the last two weeks. Unless, as you say, it was a recall vacation. Let's go find out. Where did that department they transfer you from? It was.
was a special ops unit. Special Ops is a division of the Assessor's Office. I know what you're thinking. If I were in your position, I would be thinking the same thing. You were sent to watch over me. No, absolutely not. Yeah, right. Mr. Suter, any of this look familiar to you? Anything? Yeah. Yeah? It does. This might have been the way you took to the transport station? I, I think so. I, uh, this is the way. Yeah? Yeah, I think. Okay, keep looking. I worked in a very sensitive area, but it had absolutely nothing to do with spying on members of the Citizens Protection Bureau. Problem with androids? Yeah. Ones that are programmed to kill. You okay? Yes, thank you. It just melted the hell out of the shoulder pad. I think it wasn't Armani. <sighs> yes. Well, looks like I just gave you something to hang me with. I'm glad you brought it along, Detective Hume. You saved my buttocks. David, those laser waves you saw them using burned off all surface debris, including forensics, prints, fibers, secretions, you name it. So you're saying this ain't no routine case? No, I found this embedded in one of the walls. It looks like some kind of programming disk. Ain't much. You think you can identify this? Yeah, once we get back to the lab. Any chance it, uh, it might be a recall disk? I don't know. It might be. Listen, David, I'm sorry about Blanchard. He was a great guy. Yeah, he was. And how's Olivia holding up? She's okay. Well, with everything that's been going on, it must be bringing up a lot of bad memories for her. Well, you know, it's been a long time. Fifteen years is not that long. Two android-related incidents in 24 hours? Listen, I'll see you back at the office, yeah. okay? That's a lot to talk about. So what, you want to draw straws to see who goes first? Why don't you start by giving me the 12 millimeter? I could 
have busted you for carrying this last night. There's a thermal scanner right on Arenthal's desk. So when did you turn into a good Samaritan? I wanted to see what you're going to do with it. I admire your loyalty. The instinct to avenge a partner's death is something you don't see anymore. Yeah, I can see how that would get lost when you live your life under a surveillance camera. You're not suggesting the attempts to make this a safer, more perfect world have actually resulted in loss of individual freedom, are you? The android with the laser was the one that killed Blanchard. I didn't see his face. Was it the same weapon? Possibly. I don't believe these events are random occurrences. And I don't believe Mr. Collector is telling us everything he knows. Forensics has found the fragment of a programming disk. I think it might be one of recalls. All right, why don't you and your partner get over to recall? I'll see that the immigrant couple gets back to the station. What do you want us to tell your buddy Collector? Tell him you want to talk to Dr. Gish. He's the only witness to what happened. Well, yeah, and how do I know you're not just using me to screw with Collector? You don't. Customers aren't allowed in this area. We ain't customers. Show them your ID, Farth. We are investigators from the Citizens Protection Bureau. Yeah, I understand that, but still, without a proper... Three people were killed in this building last night. We don't need a warrant. You don't understand. This is a very sensitive room. I think he understands perfectly well, Simon. What may we do for you? I want to see Gish. I'm afraid that's quite impossible at this moment. He's a material witness in a murder investigation. I thought you were off this case. Hey, guess what? I'm back on it. And I want to see Gish. Hmm. He's on his way to Mars. On whose authority? We take the security and the safety of our employees quite seriously. You said last night you didn't think the androids were after Gish. I said I didn't know what they were after. There's a difference. Yes, there is, sir. But now, apparently, you do know what they're after. Otherwise, why go to the time and expense of sending Dr. Gish to Mars? Perfectly correct. Purely precautionary in nature. Now, if you gentlemen will follow me. We found a fragment of a programming disk in a building where a second android was killed today. Just, just such violence. It seems we did make the right decision sending the good doctor to Mars. I think it's a recall disk. We don't use disks anymore. You don't use disks. What do you use? That information is protected by the Intellectual Property Law and Corporate Security Act. Hey, it's a murder investigation. Three humans and one android were killed in this very building. Now I got a second dead android. It might all be linked to recall. Detective My investigatory powers supersede your fucking security act. Do they? This has nothing to do with recall. We don't use discs. And we don't do implants. Understood? Prove it. Why am I being volunteered for this? Now just relax, Detective Farb, and let the machine do the work. This is it, these extreme adventures? Well, that is the nature of the market that we're targeting. With a sublimator in every home, the company has to keep increasing the thrill quotient just to compete. Have you ever done any downhill skiing, detective? Never. I'm afraid of heights. Perfect. Commence. He's doing quite well for a beginner. You see? No discs, no implant. I'm afraid I have to be going. Yvonne here will uh, take care of you if you need anything. Just one thing before you go. Gotta ask. 
letting a bunch of androids get past all this high-tech security. Yes, I'm quite concerned about that as well, Detective. Thank you for coming. The volunteer process, as I understand it, involves consultation with the volunteers. I happen to have a legitimate fear of heights, not to mention a touch of motion sickness. Gee, if I only know. Well, I think that in future it would be appropriate for us to have a partner. Detective partner Q. Partner, partner, hey, let's Detective do that Q. next time, okay? What? What's this about Collector sending Gish to Mars? Some rubbish about being able to protect him better there. That son of a bitch. Exactly. At this point, Gish is our only legitimate witness. I'm starting extradition immediately. I want to work both cases. Let me think about it. I knew we'd say that. Okay, let's play doctor. What's the matter with you? My stomach is, uh... He's an android, Favre. Get your ass over here. It looks real enough to me. Something I said? Probably. I didn't know androids were into self-mutilation. Do you know anything about scarification? Hmm. It's an ancient tribal custom. It's used to give them a sense of belonging. Belonging? With people who have the same scars? Well, this is where the beta-class androids have their barcode. Now, the impulse to obscure a dehumanizing code and give yourself a sense of belonging, that's what I call pretty darn human. The android you terminated last night, the same scar. So you're saying they might be related? Related in a way that all human beings are related by a phenomenon known as human consciousness. Okay, give me the condensed version of all this. The independent actions, the scarring, breaking into recall, it indicates a level of awareness that a service android is not supposed to have. Mm. By the way, that disc we found, it's not a recall disc. What you're seeing is the virtual extrapolation of the fragment we found. It turns out it was part of a game disc. This particular game is very popular with 10 to 12 year old boys right now. Try it out. Neural impulses are fed into the brain and the player controls his character through eye-brain coordination. Play. <laughs> quit laughing. Look, tell me this, though. What could this possibly have to do with rogue androids and an immigrant couple from Eastern Europe? Maybe nothing of the fragment could have been left there from weeks ago. <laughs> you believe me now that it was all a mistake? Maria was never going to take that boy from Mall. We believe somebody has done something bad to you. We just need to figure out what it is. Ah, oh, my baby, Mario! Oh, Maria! My baby boy, Mario! she grabbed in the mall represented someone who was taken from her. A lost or dead child of her own would seem to be the obvious explanation. David, take a look at this. Okay, okay, look, let's make plans to do a complete psychiatric workup. If they'll agree to it. They'll have to. What do you got? This is the initial visa application the suitors filed with immigration. They're from an area that was contaminated by fallout. Yeah, like 50 years ago. But we've got another problem. What's that? This file's been corrupted. You. Morales has a location on a rogue android. He thinks it might be the one that killed Blanche. So I'm back on the case? You're back on the case. We need the help. But I want that android taken alive, and I want to know what the hell is going on. So do I.
David. Hey. I heard there was another incident this morning. I, I wanted to make sure you were all right. It was a different thing. David, you should see the look on your face. Olivia, please, not now, okay? Not now. My father had that same look 15 years ago. The night he went off to try and kill an android. You don't kill androids. They're not real. That is not true. They're not alive. They're machines. Don't make the same mistake my dad did, David. Don't treat them like machines. Morales. Hey, man, it's your guy. They found the laser to burn Blanchard. We got him trapped on a roof near where he was hiding out. He's got some kind of software bug in his head or something. If he wasn't an android, I'd say he was losing his mind. Do I hear right? We got to take this guy alive? Orders. 60 second warning cycles. And then I'm going to be as dumb as a doorknob or, or as dumb as a cop. I can get you under recall. Too late. It's too late. <laughs> Why do you keep coming closer to me? You do not need to be this close to me to kill me. I'm not going to kill you. Yes, you are. I'm not going to kill you. Yes, you are. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Doesn't have to be this way. Shoot me. Shoot me. Hold your fire! No! Jesus. Ready 
didn't have to go like that. Yeah, he did. He thought it would make him more human. I think. Thanks. Thanks for coming down like this. Of course. It's the only way I get to see you. <laughs> Welcome, madam. Do you need or want a lawyer present? Uh, it's okay, Robbie. She's with me. You're quite right, Detective Hugh. Is there anything I can do for you? Um, maybe just a little coffee. It's too bad all the androids can't be like him. That's the way they're supposed to be. This is just a random thing. There hasn't been a problem like this for a long time. I know how long it's been, David. It was a soldier android that killed your dad. One that should have been decommissioned after the war. What happened to your father was a fluke, Olivia. The rules have been changed for a long time now. There's always a way around the rules. Here you go, Detective Hume. Just the way you like it. Oh. Thank you, Robbie. I can't go through it again, David. I won't go through it again. Okay. But you can weigh in on yourself, Thea. This, this whole thing will be wrapped up in a couple of days. <laughs> Do you really believe that? I believe this is an isolated case. This heightened consciousness these androids have has been given to a select few at some kind of experiment. I work for Uber Braun, David. The rules regarding beta class androids changed because of people like me. You're kidding yourself if you think it's just a select few. Whether you like it or not, androids have a certain type of consciousness. It's not like ours, but they are more than just machines. Sit home like a good wife, waiting for the phone to ring. I've been briefed on what happened, but I'd like to hear it straight from you. Most importantly, how do we know Recall's involved in this? They're the only ones with the technology. The android on the roof, Winston? He was obsessing about losing his memory. The night Blanchard was killed, the androids had broken into the memory composition room at Recall. They were gonna force Gish to expand their memory, make them more human. And we have a single shred of evidence to prove any of this? Nobody wants to nail Recall more than I do. I know they're experimenting with the memory capacity of androids. They're probably plotting to take over the entire android business from Uber Braun. But right now, we have no proof. Then let me get you that proof. Stay with the suitors. We've already brought you back into this case. The assessor's office will continue to investigate recall. We're going to put Mr. Suter into a deep hypnotic state. See if we can jog his memory. Let me know if you learn anything. Why's he got such a hard on for recall? It's not so much recall as it is collector. Used to work for him. Ten years ago, Collector was his boss at the assessor's office. Hey, 
Is this necessary? It will help you relax. I don't want to relax. I want to remember. Relaxing will help you remember. You're feeling a little calmer now. People always get that nervous. Well, it depends on the amount of trauma they've suffered and the depth of their oppression. In this case, I'd say his trauma was quite a profound one. What about the wife? She's a basket case. Overwhelmed by feelings of loss, guilt about the loss. That's why we're going with him. Are you completely relaxed? Speaking of basket cases, you're looking pretty ragged yourself. Think back to the morning. I haven't had much sleep lately. We were going to have a light breakfast. Everything all right at home? You've been talking to Olivia again? Yes. I don't have to talk to her to know that with everything that's been going on, she's worried. Let's try thinking back to the day before. Maybe that will take some of the pressure off. I am with Maria. I tell them we are too busy. Who are you talking about? The people who are talking to us about the vacation. What vacation? To the Galapagos, to see giant sea turtles. But you'd already been there, Mr. Souter. No, that was next day. The next day you went to the mall. You'd only been in this country a couple of weeks. If what you told us before is true, then you had been to the Galapagos already. No! This trip to the Galapagos is the key to everything. We did not go to Galapagos until man come to apartment. What man? A uh, salesman. He's very charming. How old was he? This man was in his 40s. I want you to think about this man. His face. His eyes. His eyes were blue. I want you to see his face. He had one of those easy smiles with perfect teeth. I've never seen teeth so white. He's very friendly. Did he tell you his name? Spencer Martin. Ah. I tell him about the trip to the Galapagos that Maria and I have always wanted to take to see giant sea turtles. He's offering us a recall vacation. Yeah. He said that was best way to see island. Spiking into eight there. Cigar attack. Not flight. You stop this. He's in regression therapy. You want to find out what happened? You want positive ID on the guy that took him to recall? This is the only way to do it. Taking my family to the recall office. How did I lose my love? My whole life. You said your family. You mean you and your wife, Maria. <laughs> my son, Davo. My sweet, sweet baby boy. You have a son named Tavo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. What have they done with you? Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah. That's him. That's man who call himself Spencer Martin. He take us to recall office. Oh my god. How could this happen? I, I, I should never have brought them here, but the, the, the men, they, they make it easy. They come to village, give Davo a test. What kind of test? He is a sheer. He is special. He can see into your mind without words. Telepathic. How could you make me forget the most important thing in my life? <laughs> 
get these to morale so one distributed every cop and every media outlet in the city. I don't want to cross-reference on this guy. Now we'll get lucky and catch a match with an ID photo. Right away. <laughs> boy. And this is the phony recall salesman who showed up the suitor's apartment and lured the whole family with a free vacation. And they just went with the guy just like that. It's not unusual for recent immigrants to fall into the hands of a phony salesman. Being in a completely new environment and desperately afraid of breaking rules they may not even know about, they're perfect fodder for a scam like this. Okay. Okay, so they buy into the phony recall vacation and when the vacation is over, their 12-year-old is gone. Along with her memory that he ever existed. Why go to all that trouble to grab a 12-year-old? It turns out the boy is gifted. Okay, so he's gifted. He has the ability to read minds. That's what the father says anyway. We're still trying to track records in Europe. If it is true, it explains why the boy is so valuable. Besides the father saying so, is there any other reason we should believe it? The region of Eastern Europe that they came from was heavily contaminated by nuclear fallout in 2020. It's not unusual for children of the second or even third generation from that area who appear normal in every other way to have an internal mutation that would manifest in just this manner. Before the laws were changed, it's where both recall and the assessor's office recruited the majority of their telepathics. Which means recall is probably still tracking them. All roads lead to recall. I know a little something about the way they used to recruit those kids. It's a nasty business. That's why the council passed such strict laws against it. Would that be nasty business for recall or nasty business for the assessor's office? A nasty business for everyone. Hey, we got lucky. There's a Spencer Martin that matches the composite. And guess what? He used to be a programmer at recall. Pick him up. Play. Concentrate on Spencer, Tavo. Tell us what Spencer's thinking. I don't think this is a very good game. Sure it is. Look how good Tavo is. He's afraid he's not gonna get the rest of the money you promised him. <laughs> Tell us more. Thinking about contacting a man named Collector. Oh, that's very good, Tavo. What else is he thinking? He's afraid you're going to kill him. Hey, come on. Recall programmer to live? Actually, it makes perfect sense. It's a sort of cyber tech ghetto. A lot of former programmers hide out here. There's an aggregate paranoia. Far from what the hell are you talking about? There's a jamming device on the roof that prevents long range surveillance. Ah. Only the paranoid survive. as if someone has positioned it so that it intersects perfectly with the cranial nerve. That's what's sending the electrical signal into his spine and down into his leg. So what you're saying is the Maytime repairman, he didn't do this. That's very unlikely. Do something about that, will you? 
way. Thanks. I don't know, but does that look like a state-of-the-art sprinkler system to you? Looks like a camera. Spencer's rigged his own surveillance system. There's been a disc running the whole time we've been here. Did you hear that? Did you call for backup? I did not call for backup. I knew I should have kept this 12 millimeter. Are you a fan of old movies? What? Are you a fan of old movies? Old movies is old. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, their final bank robbery, they were trapped just like this. They died, Farf. In the end, they're dead. It's possible I'm confusing it with another film. Right. On the count of three, I'm going out there. And I'm going to yell, Citizens Protection Bureau. Drop your weapons, you're all under arrest. Okay. If that doesn't work, I'm standing out there with my pants down, bullets in my head, I want you to do me a favor. You kill as many men as you can, okay? As many as I can. Why will your pants be down? It's an expression, Barb. It's just an expression. Investigating a private security matter, detective. Bullshit. When I sit here, we got two choices. We can sort this out down at the bureau, or we can play the game. But just so you know, you're getting the first jolt right between the eyes. Bar, wait in my office. Why don't you come with me? Allow me to understand this. You charged Richard Collector with obstructing a CPB investigation? Well, you know, it seemed like a good idea with a dozen illegal weapons pointed in my face. You just don't get who you're messing with, do you? Collector is the number two man at recall behind the chairman. That's how high internal security rates over there. I ain't afraid of him. Are you? Collector's power doesn't stop with recall. He is backed by all the muscle consortium money can buy. The last guy from this office messed with a corporate head of security. Not only lost his badge, he lost his job. Hey, last time I checked, we don't work for the consortium. Power works in mysterious ways, Hume. We are talking about a group of companies whose taxes pay for about, oh, 90% of our government. So tell me. How do I do my job if the IPC will not back me up? Do your job by being smart about it. We can take them down one piece at a time. Now, I told my superiors that you are a good detective. Please do not allow my faith in you to be misplaced. Security. I didn't know it had its own militia. Well, these men are part of a special task force that works for me. They were carrying lethal weapons. That in itself is a capital crime. I am not acquainted with the weapons you that they You raided a private residence with no authority and almost killed two CPB officers in the process. I beg to differ. I oh, you we would. Have authority. Corporate Security Act 2055 gives consortium members special privileges in areas of corporate espionage. Spencer Martin hadn't worked for recall in over a year. We believe that he was stealing company secret. Funny, I, I read Martin's file. Your company characterized him as a, a talented programmer, one who just happened to specialize in memory augmentation systems. His area of expertise was implants. It's an antiquated system. Then why were you worried he was going to sell it somewhere else if it's an antiquated system? It would still be state-of-the-art and say, expanding the memory of androids, wouldn't it? Recall does not build androids. But you do memories, the most important part of the machine. Detective Hume is correct. 
The evidence would suggest that these rogue androids are part of an experiment to create a more human mind for your androids. This is a warrant to search Recall's research and development departments with special attention to the memory composition lab. I'll bet the evidence that Recall illegally enhanced those androids is still in there. Would you like to accompany us there, or would you like to cooperate with the investigation right here? Mr. Collector wouldn't still be here if he wasn't interested in cooperating. He'd be hiding behind a coterie of recall lawyers. But you see, Mr. Collector has a problem. Any way you look at it, somebody's breached recall security. Security he's responsible for. Until he fixes his security problem, those lawyers won't be there to save him. They'll be roasting his entrails over a bonfire. Very good. I'd like to take a look at that surveillance disc. Oh, really? And why is that? Well, I might be able to help you identify the androids that killed this man. He's thinking about contacting a man named Collector. Oh, that's a very good Tavo. What else is he thinking? He's afraid you're going to kill him. Hey, come on. Come on. It's okay, Tavo. All part of the game. You can't kill me. I'm the only one who knows what Gish is. Gish is on Mars, Spencer. We intercepted a recall transmission. You've been playing us for fools. Hey, I'll take you to Mars. I'll take you to him. We can go to Mars on our own. So obviously, Gish and Spencer Martin worked together at recall, didn't they? Yes, they did. You know, Martin's dead at the first sign of trouble. You're shipping Gish off to Mars. I sent Dr. Gish to Mars because I thought he'd be safe there. I didn't realize he was going to be part of the problem. But it started with him. It was his experiment that expanded the minds of these androids. Yes, yes, it was. Why should we believe you? We've lost all communication with the Mars facility. The facility itself is excellent, impregnable. But it is possible that these androids have gotten access to it. And how is that possible? The expanded memory capacity makes it possible. They would have been able to stow away on all but the most restricted supply ships. If anything goes wrong up there, what happens to the boy? The boy is just a tool for them. They'll kill him. They'll kill him as soon as they get what they need from Gish. You're right. The boy's just there to read Gish's mind. Looks like you gentlemen are going to Mars. I'm coming with you. No oh, way. Look, Dr. Gish is in a top secret recall facility. I'm the only one here who has access to it. Now, if you're serious about saving this boy, you'll take me along. All right. You go but alone, just you and these two men. I'll make arrangements. to guide you making the right decision. So I guess if I'd been two minutes late, you'd be gone. I'm sorry there wasn't any time. You're not okay with this, are you? Well, it would have been nice if we could have had a discussion. I don't have time for that right now. Right. Because you've got to race up and save the world. There's only two of these rogue androids left. And when I get back from Mars, we'll all be over. So you're gonna be asleep for a long time. 17 hours. 
Well, I better give you something to dream about. Have you tried all emergency vehicles? They're in hibernation mode. The only way to contact them is to go straight to their cargo door. And we put off doing that till you arrived. How far away is this facility? Uh, it's on the perimeter of this construct. We'll need two of your men. They'll meet you on level 43. Why do they keep this thing down here anyways? To help shield it from any problems on the surface. If anything catastrophic happened to the biosphere, the people inside the research facility would survive. They'd survive nuclear war. Change security code. Stay off the grid, it's fine. Don't touch it. We gotta get out of here. We gotta be grabbing to grab onto. Go! Uh. Salvage generation. It's the first time I see it outside of a laboratory. Rabbit cell, what? What is that? Your friend is no ordinary human, are you? Talk to me. He is a flesh and plasma based android, aren't you? Talk to me. I'm an Alpha One David, prototype model. I've been partnered with an android. No, no, no. This is no ordinary android. Who made you? I can't tell you that. David. There is no way you were made by one of the consortium companies. All Alpha projects are initial stages. Who made you? No one of your competitors made him. No, no, this is not private sector. Who made you? I'm asking you a question. We're wasting valuable time. Our objective is to save a 12-year-old boy. Who made you? Let me open this door. Stop. 
to be. I can't stay in this room like this. Tell us what we want to know. What you want to know doesn't exist. We expanded your mind with a temporal implant. Play. There's no way to regenerate that implant. Once it's gone, it's gone. Is that true, Tavo? Yes. He, he's telling the truth. But he's not telling us everything, is he? What is he holding back, Tavo? There must be something he doesn't want us to know. Humans kill each other out of anger. You can reach beyond that. You can attain a level of being that humans only dream of. What's inside his head? We'll change up. Being human won't be the dream it used to be. He didn't expand our capacity by using only human. I guess I was trying to hit the end. Bullshit! Bullshit! I cannot say any more, you goddamn lies. Think about what you're doing. Think about what you're doing. Think about what you're doing. Maybe Tavo can tell us what the truth is. Tavo, do you think Mr. Collector was trying to harm you?
about you. Are you all right? I'm fine. I was afraid you had forgotten me. No. Miss Talbo, never, never. I was confused, but I am better now. We're going to leave this place, Talbo. Go back home. Would you like that? You wanted to talk to him, didn't you? When he looked inside Gish's mind, he saw things few people can comprehend. Hey, transport is waiting out back, and the paperwork is done. Good. Let's get him on it. All right. You are going to tell Arenthal about this, aren't you? No. I don't want Kelly or Arenthal to know until it's too late. All right. All right you guys let's get home, get everyone. Home? We got a car waiting for you, right? All right. Let's get him on that transport right away. Right away. Where are you taking that boy? Well, not that it's any of your business, but he's going to be examined by our doctors. We have here a court order granting us permission to question and detain the child. It is our contention that the child has had access to intellectual property belonging to recall. Why don't we just step into my office and take a look at this little court order? Fine. As long as the child stays within our sight until the situation is resolved. Oh, I don't think you're in a position to demand anything. You are sadly mistaken if you think you can investigate me. Oh, what? Now you got some sort of card that gives you immunity against homicide? Huh? As a matter of fact, I do. Mars is outside the jurisdiction of the Citizens Protection Bureau. Am I correct, General? Hey, you know, these clowns can say whatever they want. But you and I both know you're not going to get away with this. I already have. Let's okay. go into my office and work this all out. Hume, you're done for the day. Follow me. Mr. Collector's going to be unhappy when he finds out what we've done. Now oh, he has a fucking heart attack. Unresolved issues. Yeah, that would be an understatement. When should we hash things out? How about tomorrow after a good night's rest? You see that beautiful woman walking towards us? It happens to be my wife. Good night, Detective Hume. Good night. Me. You see, my husband took off from Mars, and I was hoping to find a good looking guy to take care of me for a few days. What happens when your husband gets back from Mars? Well, <clears throat> I'll probably go back to him. You see, he's pretty terrific when he actually shows his face. I have no idea how much I missed you. <sighs> well, that's very humbling. You can show me how much I missed you.